This is Frank Burke again, and this is another um, model that I built for myself. This is styled after the old Estes scissor wing transport, which used a uh, pod with some extra fins in the back, and the wing rotated to get hooked under the front and the rear to hold it in place for boost so that you could have a hands off boost and then once the uh, model got to the top the ejection charge would blow out the pod and the uh, motor and the nose weight would come down on a uh, parachute or streamer and the wing would swing open for glide uh, but since this is radio controlled I always liked the styling of that model but the uh, you don't need a hands-off boost format so having the wing open in a fixed position um, made more sense and all the studies that I ran with the weight and complexity of a hinge mechanism and a stiffer wing and the release mechanism and a pod that might get stuck and not come out and the fact that I fly at a site with tall grass around means I can't fly with something that ejects uh, that might go into the tall grass and I can't watch two things at once when I fly by myself so I built same kind of styled model, but uh, it's about a one and a half x upscale with a 22 inch wingspan and 31 inches long, and it weighs about 5.9 ounces. And this uses the uh, 18 millimeter D 2.3 for a about a 400 foot boost altitude and a uh, reasonable glide. But this is just something that I always like the styling of, and I just wanted to uh, build one of these. I built a, uh, a much larger version. It flies on the E6 24 millimeter motors as well, and this is just a uh, little bit of downscale um, just for fun. All right, ready? Mm hmm. All right, taking off in five, four, three, two, one. That's still plenty stable. Not very uh, roll responsive. Though. Mm -hmm. All right, taking out five, four, three, two, Mm -hmm. All right, take it off five, four, three, two, one. Mm-hmm. All right, five, four, three, two, one.
good roof and a pretty bed.